For 200 years, wildlife conservation has been at the heart of ZSL, the Zoological Society of London. The Society's pioneering research centre, the Institute of Zoology, is at the forefront of conservation science. We went to ZSL's Institute of Zoology in London Zoo to find out about how the Institute believes the health and well-being of animals and humans are linked and why it's important for the biosciences to work together if we're to solve some of the world's most pressing environmental problems. The public face of ZSL is here at London Zoo, but behind the scenes, scientists at ZSL's Institute of Zoology are working towards a more global goal. The Zoological Society of London was founded in 1826 as an international conservation charity aiming to create a world where wildlife thrives. Within ZSL sits the pioneering research centre, the Institute of Zoology. Our own work has shown that wild animal populations across the world have probably halved in size over the past 40 years. That's a staggering statistic. Why has that happened? That's happened because animal health has been adversely affected by what people do. The consequence of all of that is they either breed less successfully or they're more likely to die. Many wildlife diseases can also spill over into other species, such as livestock and even human beings. There are three species of gyps vulture resident in India, and during the 1990s, they declined by almost 100%. The cause of that turned out to be uh, inadvertent poisoning of the vultures by a veterinary drug that was given to cattle and buffalo if the cow or buffalo died within a few days of being given this drug and then vultures came and ate that, the vultures would then die. The mountain chicken is a giant frog, one of the world's biggest frogs, and it's only found on two Caribbean islands. And it nearly went extinct because of a, a fungal disease which humans transported around the globe. And we went to Montserrat in this case, and we tried an antifungal treatment. So this is a fungal disease. What we did for a period of about 20 weeks is to catch every frog you can find and treat it in a, a small bath for about five minutes and then release it again. You do that up to five times a week. It works in the short term and it's a great firefighting system, but it's not a long-term um, mechanism for survival. Yet even when causes of serious conservation problems are identified, there could be complex political, sociological and economic reasons why governments don't necessarily turn advice into policy. Bovine tuberculosis is the biggest animal health threat that British farmers face. It's also the biggest wildlife controversy in the country because um, some cattle herds get TB from badgers. The research findings we've got have suggested that actually there's major limitations to badger culling as a control measure. It turns out that vaccination is dramatically cheaper than culling. Uh, and the reason it's cheaper is that vaccination is not particularly controversial, whereas culling uh, attracts protesters and that means that it has to be policed. I'd like to see a major change in uh, TB policy. I'd like to see um, culling of badgers ended because I think it's not the way to eradicate the disease from Britain. With the vital work ZSL's doing, it's imperative the organisation forms partnerships to create conservation solutions, like their collaboration with UCL. It's a fantastic partnership and we're really privileged to have it. Um, UCL as a, a global university wants to tackle and solve some of the biggest problems facing humanity um, and one of them for example is the interaction of wildlife health and human health and, and there we've got complementary expertise so, so UCL will have all the facilities of a global university and that's very much complemented by the type of activity at ZSL. It has immense global impact and there's a huge global network. And ZSL hopes to continue this work with plans for a brand new science campus. The idea is to develop a centre of excellence in wildlife health, conservation science, with these links to domestic animal and human health. This is something that affects us all and we have to work together as humanity in order to address it. 